Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to use Django built-in authentication authentication system in your Grab application. So first of all, we are going to show uh, see this process from the beginning. So I am going to create one project. So let me move to desktop and then Django admin start project and let's say this project name is log. Okay, this is done. Now, next thing, what we need to do, we need to uh, generate all the tables which is used in uh, uh, built-in authentication system. So, uh, if you open your project, let me show you. Uh, let me put a desktop, and in this desktop, this is the project we have created. And go to log and open this setting file. So here, if you see there are some uh, application which are already included in your uh, project so in this one this application which are we are going to use so in order to generate all those tables what we need to do we need to move to this log directory and then we need to run python manage.py migrate so it will generate all the tables it will create those tables in the database so next thing what we are going to do we uh, want to show a login page on a particular URL so what will be that URL so that information will be specified in this urls.py and we will add one more URL let's say login and so in when a person will specify this URL a login page should appear and that uh, processing of that uh, login credential everything is already inbuilt in Django and we are going to use that so for that what we need to do we need to import Django uh, contrib import views so we are already available in Django so there are a, this is actually a file python file and in that file there are some functions or uh, so one of those function we are going to use so in case of login which function it will be a login function okay that's it so when we will write in browser login so a corresponding uh, function will be called and that function will show you the login page now there is one more requirement this function actually need a template a HTML file so we are going to create a HTML file so let me show you what will be the format of that file so add uh, let me give you some let me give here some title information and then body body clause here and HTML close here okay so here what you need to do you just need to create a form and you need to specify method as post and in this form you need to write form as p and then input type submit value login okay and here we will close the form so the meaning uh, what is the meaning of uh, this uh, text what we have written here it, it, the meaning of this one is that when uh, the built-in authentication system use this template it, it will pass a variable and that variable name is form and when we use this form at as p so form uh, component like text box label everything will be appeared in a paragraph format and these braces actually used to show information contained in the variable so this is the part for a time being you need to understand and when you need to save this file just go to your log directory create a new directory here name it templates in this directory create a new directory registration and here save this file with login.html okay so this file is saved now now uh, let's see whether this is working or not 
so I'm going to start here the server run server okay the server is running successfully and here I am right 27 login okay so you will see this error template does not exist and the reason for this error is that we have not specified in the settings file where will be the templates are. so here just open your setting file and uh, here you will find a template options so in dirs just write templates that's it now try to go for this url again so see we have not created any form this form is provided by django and if you provide some username and password the processing will be done automatically so let me show you uh, if the credentials are okay if we provide a authenticated username and password where this page should be redirect so let me create one more uh, uh, view and that will be attached to a URL so first of all let me configure a URL and this URL let's say path first so here what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new file in the log App. see this is the, our log directory in log directory there is one more directory same log and here we will create a file views.py and in this file django.http response I'm just going to define a simple function first and in this function what I'm going to do I'm going to simple simply return a text symbol and that welcome welcome to my site that's it okay so i'm going to save it in log directory views.py okay now we are going to use this function in urs.py so the thing is that here if i will write views dot first that view is actually considered from here so I need to import this file use.py in urls.py. So what I will write from dot import views as root views. The reason I'm going uh, with a different name because if we go for views, there will be a conflict. We are having two packages with the same name. So now I'm writing here root views dot first. So the meaning of this line is that whenever you write this path like 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash first so what it will do it will call the first function from use.py so this function will be called and what this function will do this function simply print welcome to my site on the screen okay now uh, now go in settings file and here also you need to write login redirect URL. It means where you want to redirect once a login is successful. So if a login is successful, we will be redirected to the first. Okay. Now the thing is that uh, okay, so there is one error. Where is the error? Okay, now let's see if there is any error or not. Okay, now th there is no error. Now the thing is that so far there is no user created for this uh, project. So we are going to create a project. So how we can do that? We can do it by running this command python manage.py create super user. So username, you can specify your username, then email address. Let me provide some email address then password. Okay, 
Now let me run this server again. So this server is running. Uh, now I'm going to supply the credentials which I have created. So because so okay now okay so if you are looking at this error so we have missed a important information here the important part what is that you need to write here CSRF token okay, this is used to prevent uh, cross-site forgery so, okay so let me refresh it again and let me specify those credentials again so see uh, uh, the user was successfully authenticated and logged in and uh, immediately after the login it is redirected to the first page and it's showing welcome to my site so in the next video what i'm going to show i'm going to show you how to stylify your login page thank you very much for watching